Hello friends and welcome to the world of free learning. This is Edupedia World and you're watching operations management videos. Today we shall take up the problems which I had posted in our previous session. That's the problem on break-even analysis methods. I'm sure you must have solved it as we had practiced a question and I hope it was easy for you. I'll be posting the solution for those two problems in this session. So our first problem was that a businessman is planning to open a factory in one of the following three cities. We had A, B and C three cities and the fixed and the variable cost of those are given here. We need to draw the graph, find the range in which uh, each of these locations will have the competitive advantage and finally the volume at all the three intersections. So let me do that here. We have three cities, say city A, B and C. And the fixed and the variable cost of these three are given to us. The costs are as follows. You have the fixed cost. Let me write it as FC. Fixed cost at A is 200,000. At B it is 180,000 and at C it is 170,000 okay and then this variable costs are given as the cost of material labor and overhead we'll sum these up so it's 40 plus 40 80 plus 20 for city A it is the to uh, total variable cost is 100 for city B it's 175 and for city C it's 300 so for city A it's 100 the variable cost for city B it's 175 and for city C it's 300 and these are per unit costs. Then I need to write the equation for total cost, total cost equation. Okay, So in the first case it's going to be 200,000 plus 100x assuming that x is the total number of output, x is the number of output okay for B it's going to be 180,000 plus 175 X and for C it's going to be 170,000 plus 300 X alright so these are my equations let me now find the the points of intersection between the city A and B so we'll have to equate the total cost at A and the total cost at B and that's going to be 200,000 plus 100x equaling 180,000 plus 175x and when we solve this we will get the value of this that is x as you no, know, you take this to the other side. You'll have 200 minus 180 is 20,000, and then here you'll have 100 minus 175 is 75x. So when you solve this, the value of x will be equal to 266.66. So the output, the unit of output, where both a and b meet, the total cost of a and b meet is 266.66 units. In the same manner, solving for the other two that is A and C A and C when we solve will have 200,000 plus 100x equaling uh, for C it is 170,000 plus 300x and when we solve this we'll get the value of x equals 150 right 200 minus 170 is 30,000 and here it will be 30 and here it will be 300 minus 100 is 200 so 30,000 divided by 200 30 by 2 is 15 so it's x will be equal to 115 In the same manner solving for the third one that is between B and C we will have B is 180000 plus 175 x that will be equal to 170000 
plus 300x again solving the same manner we will get the value of x here as 80 80 okay so the three meeting points are 80 150 and 266 all right so now getting onto the graph because that will give us the final solution telling which will have the competitive advantage in which range getting onto the graph let's go to the excel sheet and solve it so here we have the values of all the various costs for all the three cities the fixed cost is 200,000 for A 180,000 for B and 170,000 for C and then the various uh, variable cost let me add the variable cost here and put them as one value so this will be equal to the sum of these three and same would be the case for the other two yeah so we have the variable cost here now I can write the equation for my cost total cost and that's going to be 200,000 plus the fixed cost which is 100 multiplied by the quantity which I'm going to put over here okay so that's d8 the same way here for city b it's going to be 180,000 plus the quantity here times 175 that is the variable cost and finally for city C it's going to be 170,000 plus 300 times the quantity over here all right let me drag this down to all the cells and this time we know that the values are equaling at 80 uh, 150 and at 266 therefore we'll put the quantity in intervals of 20 so we'll have 20 40 and so on let me drag this down to all the cells yeah and with that our table is complete and we can see that at 80 the you the total cost for city B and city C are equal at 150 we don't have that here uh, the value would be equal for the remaining uh, for city A and city C and at 266 again that's not seen here in this chart the value for city A and B would be equal so let me quickly get the graph because the main concern was a graph here on an excel sheet so let me insert the graph from here okay a simple line graph and we see that we have three cities a b and c denoted by three different color city a is denoted by green and you see here city a starts with the lowest value here and up to the first limit sorry it's not city A sorry it's city C city C starts with the lowest because the fixed cost is the lowest here at zero the value for this will be 170,000 the uh, value for city B which is denoted by the red color at zero units it's going to be 180,000 and city A at zero units would be at 200,000 alright so in the range from zero up to 80 units up to 80 units which is at this point city C is the most suitable followed by city B which has the best range from 180 up to 266 where it meets city A right so city B is the most suitable in this range from 80 up to 266.66 and then beyond that it's city A which is the most suitable so let's write the answers here in the range in the range from 0 up to 80 units city C is having the competitive advantage is the best fine then between 
eighty up to two hundred and sixty six point six six it's city B which is the best and finally in the range beyond that is greater than 266.66 units if the company intends to produce then it's the city A which will have the competitive advantage and that's going to be the best alright so we've got the ranges for all the three cities coming to our second question where there are four different locations and again the fixed and the variable costs are given you need to plot the graph find the values at the uh, intervals the points at which these locations meet the total cost of these locations meet and then finally the question is that if the annual demand is 15,000 units which of these four would be the best location okay so let's see what the values of total cost would be for all the four locations the total cost at say location 1 would be we have seen it's 150 plus 62x 150,000 plus 62x if x is the total number of units at location 2 it's going to be 30,000 times 38x sorry 300,000 plus 38x at location 3 it's going to be 500,000 plus 24x 500,000 plus 24x and at the fourth location it's 600,000 plus 30 sorry it's 30 30x right so we have all the four locations Let let's find the meeting points between L1 and L2 so I'll have to equate these two 150000 plus 62x equaling 300,000 plus 38x. So when we solve these two, the value of x would be equal to 6250. The same way we can go about solving for the others, let's say between L2 and L3. And when we solve these two, the value of x we will get is equal to 14286 okay the same manner we can go about solving the other ones and get the values but let's straight away go to the graph and of course from there also we will get these points if our graph is very precise so here we have the cost the fixed and the variable cost for all the four locations let me put the equations very quickly so the, for the first one it is going to be 150,000 plus 62 units multiplied by the quantity which I'm going to put here okay the second one it's going to be 300,000 plus 38 times the quantity here third one it's going to be 500,000 plus 24 times the quantity which I'm going to get here and finally for the fourth one it's going to be 600,000 plus 30 times the quantity here okay so I have the values f uh, for all the four locations let me just get the graph and see in which range which of these would be the most suitable okay so for the first quantity now this time we can take since the uh, lowest value we're getting is 6250 we can take it at 1000 or say at 5000 yeah 5 10 15 and so on let's begin with 0 otherwise 0 then we have at 5000 we have at 10000 and so on And now let's quickly plot this on a graphical sheet and look at the graph how it looks like all right so here you have the graph I think you'll have to expand it further to have a clear look
well we see here that the lowest value here if it is in this range the first range then this location is the best one okay and this is our location one beyond that it's the location two which is the best and then beyond this point it's the location three which is the most suitable location four may be beyond uh, the range which we have seen but we are concerned basically with 15,000 units yeah with 15,000 units so let's see if at 15,000 unit which is having the best uh, value let me put the graph on a separate sheet okay So here at 15,000 we see that at location 1 it's 1.08 million at location 2 it is 87,000 870,000 at location 3 it's 860,000 and location 4 it's 1.05 million all right so we see that the most suitable location at this range that is at 15,000 is location 3 right and that's evident here on the graph the first up to 6250 it's the first location beyond 6250 up to 14286 it's location 3 beyond 14286 all the way it's location 3 which is the most suitable and then location 4 is still it's a long way we don't know where it'll be meeting we'll have to expand the values and we can find out okay so let me write the solution here up to from zero up to 6250 the most suitable location is l1 from 6250 up to say 14286 it's the location 2 from 14286 onwards it's the location L3 and beyond a certain value which we have not checked we can check and see what which, uh, where the location 4 would be the most suitable but for our, con uh, our concern is about 15,000 units and we see that it's location 3 which is the best in this range if we pr uh, intend to produce 15,000 units per year so the most suitable location is L3 all right well that's all we have uh, in this session keep watching our videos at www.edupediaworld.com you can share our videos with your friends they can go to the learn section register and watch our videos thank you